Hello, dear friends. My name is Anton Belov. In today's video, I would like to talk about ESB concept. ESB, an enterprise service bus, implements a communication system between mutually interacting software applications in service-oriented architecture. It uh, represents a software architecture for distributed computing and is a special variant of the general client-server model. Uh, wherein any application may behave as a server or client. ESB promotes agility and flexibility with regard to high-level protocol communication between applications. At first, let's answer the question, why use an ESB for integration at all? What would the integration look like without using ESB? We would have to implement a module in one system to send data to the other system. We would have to develop special components in the system to do this. If we had a chain of several systems connected in series, we would have to develop uh, such modules in at least two systems. We discussed the situation in more detail in one of our past videos. So, what are the disadvantages of this approach? You spend money on integrations that can only be maintained with the help of developers. You find problems only when they are already affecting your business. Your development team is slower. Every integration is done slowly and without a clear result. You never know what are you missing. Your system are too complex because they acquired additional code. We at KT team work uh, with different ESB, and in this video I would like to look at four of the most popular of them. Talent, Red Hat Fuse, WSO2 and uh, Mule. Talent is a product from French company. The first mention of it I found around uh, 2006. It has a more archaic interface than other ESB. A huge number of components and uh, the possibility to develop them, plus a large community of developers, often help in solving your problems. From the disadvantages, at first very often you want to allocate a piece of job to a sub-job, for example, for call it from different places of your main job. Talent has a complicated mechanism for this. Interfaces are complicated. This makes it uh, difficult for a business analyst to use. Talent has no project structure in the form of XML files. The project structure consists of magic files that change automatically and are filled with a lot of metadata. This causes certain difficulties uh, when you want to connect it to the Git in the free version. If you look at level of data lines between elements talent has flexibility, but this is also its weakness. It would be difficult for a business analyst to make sense of the transformation of objects within lines. Advantages of the paid versions. The built-in Git works in the background. It should also be noted that the very essence of working with the Git in the paid version. It's commit each change automatically. You can deploy an orchestrator that will manage and monitor the running jobs. A wide range of components and the ability to refine them. In summary, the tool itself is definitely powerful, but only after you get used to its logic. It can be used both in the paid version and uh, the open source version. Mule. The product is now owned by Salesforce. The first mention of it can be found around uh, 2006, which is when Ross Mason began developing this product. With three years Mason development uh, gained popularity and he opened Mule Source. Mule Soft signs 2009, based in San Francisco. The name is explained as flows. A mule, donkey, does the hard work, the same donkey work 
is done by developers when they are writing code for system integration. The AnyPoint platform comes to their aid, allowing them to quickly set up interactions between various applications, data and devices using APIs. In March uh, 2018, Salesforce bought Mulsoft uh, for 6.5 billion, uh, Benioff's most expensive acquisition at the time. Salesforce missions to move the business to the cloud. Mule is now starting to align with it in many ways. Advantages. Its interface is uh, quite nice, based on Eclipse intuitive elements and components, many of the things that are installed during the job built by default do not require adjustments. The key feature of AnyPoint Studio is that it's a tool that allows to you control all your APIs you have in your orchestration in an extremely easy and efficient way. Everything is as intuitive and convenient as possible from the initial design of the future APIs to controlling access, logging and server statistics. AnyPoint Exchange is designed to catalog search and uh, share various artifacts, APIs, codes, snippets, templates, examples, connectors and so on. All of these artifacts can be shared publicity or within your organization. The entire project can be viewed at the file level and this means that you can work with Git and manage changes in projects. You can do without cloud services to build integrations. This brings us to the new concept of IPaaS integration platform as a service. Building your infrastructure with IPaaS is a much faster and better than developing everything from scratch. Disadvantages The 30-day trial version requires the purchase of necessary licenses during this period. The features of the community versions are very limited, and if you don't have serious expertise in Java, it's better to think about buying the paid version right away. Red Hat Fuse Product by Red Hat developed on the basis of the Camel library. The first mention of the product can be found around uh, 2008. This is the most developer-oriented product of the entire selection. On the one hand, this gives almost unlimited customization. On the other hand, the complexity of interfaces creates a high entire threshold for analysts. Advantages Good integrability into Red Hat's infrastructure if your company uses Red Hat products, it will be easy to integrate into their ecosystem. The licensing scheme is the same of the entire product line. You only pay to paid support if you want. It is worth noting that the entire project can also be viewed at file level, which means that you can work with Git to manage changes in project. Disadvantages The weak component palette forces many solutions to be plugged in as Java libraries and write a lot of code. The lack of building for API management component, stores and other related products that competitors have. WSO2 WSO2 integration platform is an easy and fast solution in the field of information system integration. The first mention of the product can be found around 2005 with support for all protocols and a wide range of connectors to various systems. This product is ideal for integration tasks. The advantage of this studio can be called the easy of entire and the pleasant interface. Advantages The Apache version 2.0 product license it allows you to deploy and start using WSO2 for evolution purpose. With the basic version, you have all the functionality open. The ability to build Docker images allow you to use Kubernetes as an orchestrator. Good support for development integrations through related products such as API management. The entire project can 
also be viewed at the file level, which means you can work with Git to manage changes to your project. Disadvantages The interface of the system is poorly suited to be used in the production of complex solutions. There are bugs and some things can only be implemented using XML. The weak palette of components leads to the fact that much has to be developed from scratch. It is difficult to highlight the obvious disadvantages, not as a power as the mule, but as a very well balanced product. Let's sum up. As a conclusion, I would like to note that particularly any of the ESB can be used in paid and free versions. If you want to save money on purchasing licenses, then Fuse is the best choice. But you should be prepared to spend money on developing many solutions and wrappers from the scratch. If you want a quick start, Mule is a good choice. Its cloud infrastructure removes a lot of development issues. Mule usually bases its pricing on the amount of resources used. Talent is a good for self-hosted architecture. It builds pricing from the numbers of developers. WSO2 is a good place to start, but offer fewer options than Moo. As an integrator, we work with an, any of the solutions. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all and goodbye.